Well, but this stuff is very, very serious uh, for non-compliance, and it's not it's not like hey, you're going to get a, 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 a you know a, a late fee from the library for not filing uh, on time. There's that, but if you're not in compliance with the law, so you file your 1095C, and it turned out you're out of compliance, and the way you implement and execute the plan, uh, some of these fees can be very. Can you, t- can you kind of take us through this? Yeah, so, and I can tell you, you know, from personal experience, you know, we'll go through this and it'll become painfully obvious, I think, that a small error here can result in substantial liability uh, because we're not, uh, the way these uh, rules work is not, not simply just looking at, you know, how many times something was violated or how many employees it affected. There, there's some aspects to this where, if there's one violation, one employee getting uh, the premium tax credit, then there's a per employee penalty, no matter how many uh, people are actually affected. Uh, so, you know, I can tell you, I, I've seen, you know, small errors, you know, result in uh, six, you know, easily result in six figure you know, liability for a, a company that you know, isn't even that large. We're not talking about a company with, you know, hundreds or thousands of employees. Uh, it, regardless, it's pretty pretty easy for these penalties to uh, to, to creep up on. Uh, so, so, so we we're talking earlier. You you kind of hit four of them, right? So one of first is a failure to distribute SBC. What what is SBC and what's the fine? Sure, sure. So, you know, the, the failure to provide summary of uh, benefits coverage, that's that, uh, you know, the, the notice that you're going to uh, give out uh, regarding the plan. Um, you know, in 2022, I believe we're above uh, 1,200 on that. Uh, it's 1,250 or 60, I believe, per failure. Uh, so, again, you know, that's one where just one notice, you know, is going, you know, not giving that to you know, 50 employees, you're gonna have, uh, you know, liability, uh, you know, higher than 50,000. Um, and I, similar- I, I, I'll let that sink in for folks, because yeah. again, we're not scare people, but let's say you try to go really cheap here, and however you're buying your insur- your group health insurance uh, for your employees and trying to pinch every penny you can because it's darn expensive and your business is, you know, struggling coming out of, out of a pandemic, we understand. Uh, but that one mistake of not, providing benefit summary benefit coverage the SBC is a notice to to employees if you have 50 employees there's you're, you're 50 60 grand right there 